All right, all right. Uh, today is Easter week, and uh, the text uh, text is from and uh, X Book of X chapter two, verse twenty two through thirty six. I read it for you. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works uh, and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst as you yourselves know. This Jesus delivered up according to the definite plan and for knowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him up, losing the pangs of the death because it was not possible for him to be held by it. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is in my right hand that I may not be shaken. Therefore, my heart will, uh, was glad and my tongue rejoiced. My flesh also will dwell in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades or let your Holy One see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will make me full of gladness with your uh, presence. Brothers, I may say to you with confidence about the patriarch David that he both died and was buried and his tomb is with us to this day. Being therefore a prophet and knowing that God has sworn with the oath to him that he would set one of his descendants on his throne, he for saw and spoke about the resurrection of the Christ, that he was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh see corruption. This Jesus got raised up, and of that we all are witnesses, being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit. He has poured out the this that you yourselves are seeing and hearing. For David did not ascend into heavens, but he himself says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Let all the house of Israel therefore know, the, know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ this Jesus whom you crucified. Amen. Uh, today text is, if you look at chapter 2 of the book of Acts, is talking about uh, the sermon and preaching and from the uh, Peter. Uh, you know, the, the book of Acts is uh, starting from the writing and like uh, taking the, you know, letters to the uh, Theo, uh, Theophilus, if you look at chapter 1, verse 1. And uh, uh, it's talking about what happened in his time. And then the people just uh, get together, and then the Holy Spirit came upon them, especially chapter 2, is uh, talking about afterwards, uh, Peter just uh, preached to the whole people gathering together at that time. And so Peter uh, sp spoke out, if you look at verse 14, and but Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them. He's talking about uh, the uh, fully the Holy Spirit is not just uh, you know happen uh, without any purpose. It is uh, really uh, prophesied from the Bible long time ago. So he is quoting from the Old Testament, you know each verse from the Old Testament. When you look at that verse 17, he quoting from the Joel chapter 2, 28, like that. So, if you look at chapter 2, verse 17 in book of Acts, And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. So it is really uh, written in the Bible a long time ago. So this uh, happening phenomenon is like a, not just happening because it already Bible indicated a long time ago. 
And uh, Peter just uh, spoke up when you look at the, our passage today, verse 22. He is uh, just uh, directly quoting from Psalm 16. If you look at that, Psalm 16, right? If you look at Psalm 16 in here, uh, he's talking about, uh, he's saying he's, uh, we are witnesses of uh, the risen King, Jesus Christ. We are witnesses, you know. So this uh, witnesses is like uh, in Greek is uh, very uh, important, uh, martyrs, you know, witness, martyrs. So when you look at uh, chapter 1, verse 8, uh, 18, yeah, very, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, chapter 1, verse 8 is a so important verse. One of the key verse in the book of uh, Acts. I will read it for you, 1, 8. But you will receive a power when the Holy Spirit has come uh, upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. You know, so this is a promise. When you receive the Holy Spirit, and you will receive a power, and you will be witnesses, martyrs, you will be witnesses. So, we have to remember, we, are, we should be witnesses of Jesus Christ, the risen King. Uh, this is uh, also a topic and main theme of the Bible, when you look at that, right? And so, so when we look at, the, remember, the book of Matthew is talking about uh, Jesus as the, you know, king, right? And Mark uh, talked about the servant of God. Jesus Christ is, you know, as the, the servant of God. And the book of Luke was talking about the Messiah, the son of God, you know, uh, the son of a man, yeah. In Korean, Inja, you know, Messiah. And the book of John is talking about the Son of God. Yeah. So Jesus just uh, portrayed uh, four uh, different aspects to us. He is king, he is a servant, he is uh, the Son of Man, he is a Son of God. And finally, and the book of Acts is talking about, so we should be witnesses for Jesus Christ when you look at 1.8. So this is very uh, important verse in here. And I just uh, share with you in Greek sentence in here, Allah, lem seste, lem, lem seste, dunamin, epe, epele, dontos, tu hagio, ponimatos, ephimaskai, eseste, you shall be, mu, my, martyrs, witnesses, and ente Jerusalem, and pase. Te Judaia kai Samaria kai heos eskatu tes kes. In other words, and uh, to the ends of the uh, whole, you know, uh, end of end of the the earth, you know, we should be witnesses. This is a uh, really the uh, God is asking to us today. So think about yourself. Are you really witnesses uh, for the risen King? You know, if we remember Shema, if you remember Shema Israel, you know, and Ain is very, you know, the capitalized, uh, made a big, uh, bold, you know, letter. If you look at that Hebrew sentence, usually, and also Shema Israel, Adonai Elohim, and etc. Dalet, Echad, Dalet, made big. So usually Shema is appeared as Ed, witness. You know, you should understand. Uh, in other words, Shema is like a witness of God, uh, whether you like uh, uh, so much God or not. So we're supposed to love God so much. We should be, uh, this is a witness, you know, witnessing of God. So same thing, uh, the book of Acts is pretty much talking about uh, witnessing, martyrs, mar martyrs, martyria. Martyrs means a witness, you know. So we should be uh, witnesses. In here, if you look at verse 1a, especially talking about plural sentence, you will be my witnesses, you know. In other words, I myself will be witness, not only that, all of us should be uh, witnesses for God. Uh, God is emphasizing uh, that much, you know. So when 
Jesus ascended into heaven, the Holy Spirit came down, especially came down to the whole audience, and we received the power of the Holy Spirit. And the two things are happening uh, according to verse 1 8. If you look at 1 8, talking about you will receive my, my power. That means dunami, dunamis, dynamite. You know, it comes from dynamite, it's coming from dunamis in Greek word. You know, powerful, powerful uh, thing. So the power uh, came from the Holy Spirit, dunami, uh, dunamis. And also, we will be witnesses, martyrs. Two things happening at the coming of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit lead us and give us, strengthen us, and not only boldly make us possible to share the gospel to the whole people, especially from the it started from Jerusalem and Pase Judea and you know and Samaria yeah, around the part of the uh, Jerusalem and to the end of the uh, part of the whole nation. So right now we are living in the situation where we are living right now. To the end of the whole earth, we should uh, uh, you know, share the gospel right now. So I'm challenging you today because he ascended into heaven. He is risen. He has a reason. So that's why we should uh, you know, bear witness sing you know to the whole people in other words we should uh, sh share the gospel uh, the risen king this is uh, the main message of today uh, scripture talking about the interesting thing if you look at chapter 2 again and uh, peter is a uh, uh, citing from the psalm 16 yeah psalm 16 is a very beautiful uh, psalm in here i just uh, i wrote the uh, uh, you know couple of things in here, uh, Psalm 16, uh, same passage, but in Hebrew text is very interesting. I saw that. Uh, so let's, let's look at, yeah. yeah, I cannot take a look in Hebrew sentence in here. That's why I'm trying to find out. But anyway, uh, yeah, Psalm uh, 16 and uh, almost last part of here, yeah. Uh, and uh, Shiviti Adonai. Uh, so it talking about translation is uh, exactly in here. I saw the Lord always before me, for He is at my right hand, and that I may not be shaken. Therefore, my heart was glad, and my tongues rejoiced. My flesh and also will dwell in hope, for You will not abandon my soul to Hades. In here, very interesting things. My soul. You know, not uh, not to she. It means not only soul, my life. You know, so not only talking about my soul, it is talking about uh, you know, and and you know, his uh, himself, Jesus himself, everything. He will not put into the hades, into hell. You know, in other words, he resurrected from death. So usually, uh, when we have a pastor's creed, and uh, many people in Korean made a mistake a little bit. Uh, in Korean, I will tell you about Samil uh, Mane. It, it is a wrong translation, not Samil Mane. Samil Mane means uh, three days, you know. But when you look at uh, our confession of faith, we're talking about the third day, you know. Third day means Sechen uh, a different meaning. Why is it so important? Because Jesus died on you know Friday night, like uh, six o'clock, right? Almost the uh, afternoon, right? So uh, Sabbath, Shabbat, uh, Shabbat, and the Saturday and Sunday morning, he was risen from the dead. So if you you know take it seriously, counting time, it really didn't happen for three days like a 24 hours Saturday and almost uh, less than 48 hours, 36 hours around that. That's why we should uh, translate the third day means uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, not three days. Uh, so when you say three days, uh, is a wrong translation and gives us a wrong concept. It didn't really, it's one and a half day, you know, 
on third day. When you look at in English, English, uh, you know, Apostles' Creed also says that uh, the third day, not said that uh, on the uh, after three days, he uh, it doesn't say that. Third day means, uh, uh, you know, uh, counting less than 72 hours, you know, just the 36 hours. So, do you understand what I'm talking about? So, Jesus just uh, was a reason. He has a reason from the death, you know, on the, on the third day. Yeah. In Greek sentence, is the same emphasis there. But anyway, uh, Jesus died for us and uh, he didn't really abandon to the Hades and he resurrected from death. When you look at 227, uh, exactly Peter is quoting from the, uh, Psalm 16. This is a beautiful Psalm. So when you read this uh, Psalm, so many uh, Old Testament passages are talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, uh, I can give you so many evidence there. So some people say that, oh, we don't see so many passages there in Old Testament uh, referring and, you know, the resurrection of Christ like that. But Bible is clear, clearly talking about, according to the book of Acts, talking about quoting, quoting from the Psalm 16. Not only that, uh, if you look at the uh, Job, is also talking about, you know, from the, you know, after death, you know, with my, uh, my body, I will just uh, uh, have a resurrection, you know, I will experience a resurrection like that. So, this kind of passage is uh, in the Bible, everywhere. So, also, when you look at the uh, book of uh, Ezekiel 37, is talking about, you know, dry bones. Uh, everything is uh, just gone away and uh, just almost about to perish. But God just uh, raised them up and make them strong armies, like the, from uh, dead bodies to make uh, strong armies. Same thing. So, resurrection is uh, appearing in the Old Testament and prophesied so many times, you know, it will happen in the future and with the event, uh, you know, the ministry of the Jesus Christ, same thing, talking about. Uh, especially when you look at, uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just to uh, take a look at and Job also, from the, my uh, body, I will, you know, uh, uh, it's talking about, let's see, chapter 21 through there. And uh, I was uh, writing in here, passage in here. Let's look at, yeah. Yeah, let's look at passage in here. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, I just uh, wrote down all the passages in here, especially. 232, yeah. And then, yeah. Let's look at yeah job nineteen twenty six yeah yeah nineteen twenty six I'm sorry let let's read it nineteen twenty six yeah uh, in English after and after my skin has been thus destroyed yet in my flesh I shall see God most of our translation in English in my body, you know, but I think that, that is not a proper uh, translation uh, because in Hebrew, uh, I shall see Elohai, my God, Nibasari, Nibasari, Basara is like a flesh, me means from, it's a very easy proposition, right? So, from my body, I shall see my God. This is a confession of uh, the, you know, Job. You know, many people, they are thinking, Mibasari, from the, my body, from my body. So we translate from my body, not in the body. Even though we die, you know, my flesh will just uh, uh, destroy away. But, um, but God will raise us up, you know, resurrected from death. And from my body, you know, from my body, we sh shall see my God again. So that should not be translated as in the body. This is not right. I don't think uh, in the body. 
from my body, you know, from, mi basari, from my body. This quotation is also talking about referring the resurrection, uh, you know, in the future, uh, in, quoting from Old Testament. So many passages are talking about resurrection will happen, right? And uh, I just indicated uh, uh, Job 19, 26, and also uh, Ezekiel 37, uh, Psalm 16, and so many uh, Bible is really talking about uh, it will happen in the future. So, uh, resurrection is uh, very clear when you look at that. So, Peter is uh, apply all the passage. Think about, David was uh, talking about, he prophesied in a, uh, will happen in the future in the ministry of Jesus Christ. So, when Jesus died for us, it just uh, uh, finished. It. He just uh, uh, resurrected from you know from the death and then he applied to uh, his time look at the uh, chapter 2 31 he is uh, talking about uh, he foresaw and spoke about the resurrection of the Christ he's talking about you know so he just uh, uh, expounded the Old Testament passage and then he just applied to this situation, his time, situation, Jesus' resurrection, the resurrection of the Christ he is talking about. Jesus just, uh, uh, he just uh, didn't die in a, you know, in a tomb. He just resurrected, he was uh, resurrected from the death. And not only that, 32, look at that. This is Jesus got raised up and that we are all witnesses, you know, Martyrs, we are witnesses for them, and then not only that, and then we just uh, share the gospel. So main topic, main message of the New Testament can be uh, summarized in verse thirty-six, especially thirty-six. Read it again. Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ. This is Jesus whom you crucified. This is the main message and topic in the Old Testament, right? Jesus, who is Jesus? Who Jesus is? We should know that. Who Jesus is? That He is a Lord. He is a Christ. You know, so Lord means Adonai, Adon, right? It refers to the Yod He Vav He, God Himself. What does it mean? Also, Christ means uh, uh, Messiah. Mes uh, Messiah in English. That means he is a king, he is also a prophet, he is also, uh, you know, a priest. So he accomplished all the uh, three roles, you know, prophesied in the Old Testament. He served as a king. He just become uh, our priest, you know, hood. And also he become uh, our, you know, prophet. He's talking about everything. He fulfilled the, all the prophecy of the Old Testament. So, the main message of the New Testament is, uh, can be summarized uh, to 36. Let the old house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ. This Jesus, Jesus whom you crucified. He died for us, but he became our Lord, Adonai. God himself, and also he became, you know, Christ for us. This is main message of uh, the book of Acts. And then they become witnesses, you know, to the whole people. So chapter 1 through 7 is talking about only the province of Jerusalem, right? Chapter 8 through 14 is talking about they just shared the gospel to the other parts, Samaria, Judea. And then chapter 15 through 28, they just witness to the whole other nation, especially mission trip. Well, if, you, if you read the chapter uh, from 15, Paul, just the first uh, uh, mission, mission uh, journey, and second journey, and third journey, he just shared the gospel to the whole, you know, rest of uh, uh, reason to the reason in his time. So, Book of Acts 
are really talking about not only Jerusalem and you know Samaria, Judea, and to the end of the earth, he just uh, become witness for the whole nation. So usually we are just challenged by so many times. We should be, we should write afterwards chapter 28. Rest of our life should be chapter 29 of the book of Acts. Usually people, they saying that, right? The book of Acts uh, finished the chapter, uh, you know, end of chapter 28. But chapter 29 is continuously going on through the, your witnessing life. In other words, we should be witnesses for Jesus, the risen King, to the whole nation and the whole people right now. How, how are you doing and are you sharing the gospel when you're doing your just work? Not only that, in ministry, in the rest of your lives, and we should be really, uh, you know, sharing the gospel to the whole people. Bible is continually emphasizing the chapter Matthew 28, uh, 16. Go therefore, you know, and uh, just uh, share the gospel to the whole rest of, uh, uh, you know, nations. Especially Mark chapter 16 and verse 15, rest of verse also talking about share and, uh, you know, proclaim the whole gospel to the whole nation right now so many uh, missionary going to the field and uh, on which the nation on the people right now and also we are helping so many missionaries we are praying for so many people why are we doing that because the gospel should be proclaimed to the whole you know on which the reason and people right now so many people are uh, just that they didn't re receive the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the risen King. So that's why uh, Peter is proclaimed so clearly to 21. It shall come to the pass. Everyone who calls uh, upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So God is uh, in inviting all the people, anyone who calls name upon the Lord, they will receive that. They will save the, you know, why are we studying right now? Why are we making money right now? Why are we serving and ministering or attending in church and living as a Christian right now? We are supposed to be, God is, uh, you know, asking you to be his, you know, really witnesses. How, how you know, think about your lives. Are you really uh, sharing the gospel to the whole people? Or you, if you do not just uh, witness to the proclaim the gospel to the other people, only you have a reason. Only you, the Holy Spirit you, is uh, not really fulfilled in you powerfully. That's why you are not sharing, you are not witnessing to the other people. The book of Acts is like a book of uh, the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit, if just uh, filled with, within you, and two things are happening. I told you earlier, two things. What are the two things? First one, you will be dynamite, you know, dynamite, dynamis, power, spiritual power in your, in, in the midst of you. And then you really uh, become like a, a witnesses, like a disciple, his disciples, Jesus, you know, his disciples, they become uh, really witnesses to the old people. You can share the gospel, you can show your behavior, acts, you know, life. You can, you can, your life can be uh, witnessing to the other people. Even though you are just uh, sometimes uh, saying nothing, you are so sacrificial, you are serving other people, and they will recognize, oh, he's a Christian. His life is different than uh, just an ordinary person. His uh, life attitude is different. So many people, they are trying to, you know, pop up, trying to uh, just show up. But he's a very modest and very humble uh, character like that. How come he has so nice a uh, character? Oh, he's a Christian. He believe, believes in Jesus Christ. Those kind of behavior witness to the whole other people. Even though we say nothing, 
Sometimes if we have a chance, we can share the gospel to the publicly, like uh, the, you know, Saints Paul. Sometimes if I have like a public meeting or a public speech, I can share the gospel and I can also give them preaching and sermon. But however, with our lives, we should show all the people, you know, witnessing uh, the risen King, the re resurrected Christ. This is our responsibility. And uh, the book of Acts is asking you to do that. This is the main message today. Are you witnessing to the other people in your lives? Even though you are just uh, uh, saying nothing and uh, they will see, oh, he's different. He's a Christian. He believes the risen King, the resurrected Christ. People will recognize you are believers, you are witnesses as believers. God is asking you to witnessing to the other people. We live a chance right now. We don't have opportunity to go out and to go other country right now because of a pandemic situation. But God will give us opportunity. In you know, some days we can have a, you know, maybe we can have a chance to go to uh, Africa, uh, different continents in the future. Some days we will have a chance witnessing the risen Christ as a missionary, as a, just a, you know, witnesses. So God is asking you, we are witnesses. So in here, you know, for I know that I quoting from Job 1925 again, for I know that my Redeemer lives at the last he will stand up upon the earth after my skin has been thus destroyed, yet in my flesh I shall, yeah, from my flesh I shall, I shall see God from my flesh. Even though we will die in the future, our flesh will just go away. But you should believe we will resurrect it like the passage of, uh, you know, Ezekiel, Ezekiel uh, chapter uh, 37. We will be like uh, dead bodies in the future. But Jesus raised uh, uh, them up and uh, resurrected from there. You know, so many pieces is talking about. I want to uh, quoting from, you know, uh, the last chapter of uh, Daniel in here. Same thing in happening, you know, talking about resurrection in here. Uh, you know, uh, chapter 12, verse uh, 2. I, I quoting from book of Daniel. Chapter 12, 2. And many of those who sleep, many of the, uh, those who sleep in the dust of uh, the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those who are wise shall shine like the bri uh, brightness of the sky above. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Look at that, you know. God will just uh, make a, a shine like uh, anyone who really wise and shine like a brightness of the sky above because uh, they just, uh, those who turn many to righteousness. In other words, sharing the gospel, witnessing, witnessing the gospel to the other people. How, how about your lives? Rest of your time, how do you want to spend your time? Only you are seeking for your success. You just uh, dreams come true. You want to just uh, fulfill your desire, accomplish your, you know, your plan. That is not enough, right? In here, Bible is uh, talking about last days. So the last verse of the last uh, chapter in book of Daniel 13, chapter 2, 12, 13. But go your way till the end, and you shall rest and shall stand in your uh, allotted place at the end of the age. You know, God, will, uh, he will raise uh, uh, Daniel in the last day again. In, when you look at the verse, not only you shall rest it means that he will die in the future, but God will raise him up, shall stand in your allotted place. In other words, God will raise uh, Daniel in the future. Even though he died, 
and God is raising him up again. You know, don't worry about your flesh will, you know, corrupted in the future. We will die. Our flesh is just gone away in the future. But God will raise you us up again, like a resurrection of Christ. This is a promise. This is one of the, I think, the most important thing in teaching in the New Testament. Resurrection. You know, this is not theory. This is not only our hoping. This is a real happening in the future. We will die, but He will resurrect us from the death. Resurrection. So, how our life should be? Your life should be like witnessing lives, sharing the gospel, and uh, just proclaim the gospel to the whole people. Don't worry about If you are just weak, you are not brave enough, the Holy Spirit will help you to share the gospel. Like, you know, if, even though you are weak, you are not bold enough, don't worry about it. You will be, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Make you, you know, witnesses. This is a promise. You will share the gospel to the whole, you know, Gentiles, not only the ethnics, all the people, to the whole nation. And also power of the Holy Spirit, you know, in the midst of you, like a promise of chapter 1a. I want to just finish today, uh, uh, you know, the promise of uh, X, you know, chapter 1 and 2. Today, I just uh, quoting and also emphasize, make very uh, seriously, 230, 30, 36 is uh, one key verse of the uh, New Testament. We should know who, is, who Jesus is. Jesus is, you know, both Lord and Christ. Lord means Adon. Adonai, Yodhe Babhe, Yahweh himself. And also he is a Christ, the Messiah. We should believe that. He, he, he died on the cross. He resurrected from there. And everything was prophesied from Old Testament. This is not just happening. This is a prophesied from the Old Testament. We should believe. So we should be his witnesses to the all people, you know, anyone who doesn't know about the Christ. Hallelujah. So share the gospel to the whole, uh, you know, uh, people, ethnics, and the nation, and uh, uh, share the gospel. Amen.